Welcome to this magnificent event, feeling hot, hot, hot. The event tonight will inform you, hopefully will shock you a little bit and will prepare you for the inevitable. The problem is that as a result of, as I say, land use change and burning fossil fuels, we've added too much greenhouse gas into the atmosphere and the atmosphere is now too efficient in terms of its ability to absorb and retain heat. This is the largest ice cap in the world at the equator, it's in Africa, and you've got a time lapse showing a 90% reduction in that ice cap. So you can see that there, there is an ob observable increase in the extremes as we go forward. Year on year we keep on finding ourselves breaking records at remarkable rates. So here we are skipping forward with our scenario. Good evening. South Australians are being urged to take care this week with a run of temperatures forecast to trigger heatwave conditions. With the Bureau saying there is no immediate relief in sight. With Red Cross, when the heatwave has been declared, we activate our Telecross Ready, whereby we ring people to ensure that they are OK. And we have been able to uh, save quite a number of people's lives. We also see after a heat event increases in strokes, heart attack and respiratory problems. And we know in different industries there's a massive increase in uh, reported uh, workplace injuries, lost time injuries from these events. And look at the impact and the drag of, of extreme weather on the economy. When there was six days of over 35 degrees, it led to an 8% reduction in productivity. In the electricity industry, when you've got those uh, very hot temperatures, power can actually still go off. There are things that could be done to perhaps improve energy efficiency and therefore reduce the, the demand on the electricity grid. Having ways of staying cool uh, without power, and that's probably the take home to be, uh, to be conscious of that. But in the cities, just because of the built infrastructure around you, it's just radiating all that heat throughout the night. There's been a lot of studies uh, done across Australia's cities and they have seen that a lot of the urban centres are, especially during heat waves, can be nearly five to seven degrees hotter than it would be on the suburbs. Probably putting people out of business, major events is insurance um, due to heat because if you're cancelling and you have to refund, you know, most businesses can't cope with that. The answer is we can make a big difference. Everything from voting for political parties that believe in climate change through to investing our superannuation more responsibly. But all, with an issue like climate change, be the change that you want to see. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. We can all make a big difference collectively. The only way there'll be change is if everyone asks for it. But from my personal point of view, have a plan. You know, have a personal plan, have a professional plan. We think about all of our stakeholders. We think about our commercial stakeholders, sponsors. We think about councils. We think about all the people that have invested in the event. But most of all, we're thinking about health and the well-being of the riders. But more importantly, the volunteers, the, p the public, the people that are working, the council workers. There's actually very simple things that people can do to prevent the effect of heat. Those things include um, drinking more water. If you'd like some help working out how much fluid to drink, have a look at our website because checking the colour of your urine is very handy. The more responsible thing to do going forward is potentially to uh, create buildings from the get-go that might be considering our natural patterns a little bit more so then we can actually cope in these situations without the technology. There is a legal opinion in Australia that uh, company directors are now legally liable if they're not considering climate change and disclosing that climate change risk to their shareholders. 61% of businesses believe that consumers expect them as a business to reduce their carbon emissions. Every individual has a role to play, not only to take care of themselves and, and keep themselves and their family safe, but to keep their workplaces safe and to keep the community safe by checking on their neighbours, friends and, and the vulnerable during these events so that we can all get through the other end and, and come out the other side. 